there, Ooh, which has had so international nicely. success. Thank you. <laughs> and the Houston Ballet has performed the show all over Canada, and now you can watch it right here in Houston. Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gonzalez went behind the scenes with cast members. Take a look. Hey guys, one of my favorite ways to relax is by catching a show. The Houston Ballet is now performing La Baya Dare. Houston Ballet caps its season with Stanton Welch's La Baya Dare, a dramatic ballet of eternal love, mystery, vengeance, and justice. It tells the story of Nakia and her lover, Solar. It's a story of uh, Solar, a hunter, who um, kills a tiger which brings his family and village great fortune. He falls in love with a temple dancer, but since he killed that tiger and was received such gifts and great fortune, he is honored to wed the uh, king's daughter. Um, and stupidly, he does so. He agrees to marry her and breaks the temple dancer's heart. So it, from there, it's a big tragedy, as you can imagine, and, and lots of dramatic things unfold. And Unfortunately, Solar doesn't quite get it right in time, but... <laughs> and that's the character that you will be playing. I am playing the role of Solar, yes. La Valle de is uh, one of the most beautiful classical ballets. Uh, you're going to see beautiful tutus and also exotic costumes. It's about uh, Nikia, which is the character that I portray. Uh, she falls in love with the warrior Solar. Uh, and the ballet is about that. It's about the drama and the love that these two have. Peter Farmer is the amazing costume designer. Peter had a rich history with Houston Ballet, a total of nine full-length productions since 1972. His last collaboration with Houston Ballet was this production, Stanton Welch's La Baya Dare. Sadly, Peter Farmer passed away this year on New Year's Day. Tell me about the, the costumes. I hear they're beautiful. They are, yeah. I mean, this ballet takes place in India, and India is always filled with color and texture. Um, so that's always a great starting place for a designer, you know, when you already have all these beautiful elements to draw from. I think when you see the costumes, it, it tells you the story right away. And there's a lot of color and jewels, and uh, it's elegant. And I heard that there will be snakes. There are snakes. I, um, you know, when we originally premiered this production, I did the photo shoot for it, and we had snakes crawling all over yeah. us. Yeah, the first five minutes were so scary, and now, uh -huh. you know, snakes. I, I think they're so amazing. So you're seeing snakes plural. So how many were there? Oh, I was probably in a bed of like six snakes just crawling across our. Yeah, it was wild. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Look, look up the old. Like Fear Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be dancing with the snakes, or are they just Not sort of me. around? I only do photo shoots with snakes, <laughs> apparently. Um, no, they, they do. They make an appearance on stage, and depending on what kind of mood they're in, depends on what sort of dancing they're going to do. Yes. I think anybody can come, and I know they will enjoy three hours of the ballet. It's like hypnosis, you know, and you get drawn into the magic, and the hard work that our quarter ballet puts in is really spectacular. I hope that everyone can come out and get lost in all of that magic. Oh, wow, such wonderful costumes. I cannot believe they dance with snakes. Why? That's totally normal. I do it every weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not me. Totally. <laughs> uh, by the way, you can catch Houston Ballet's La Bayadere now through June 18th. Tickets start at 25 bucks. All the info is online at HoustonBallet.org. Easy enough. All right, folks, the big question of the day, would you buy a dress made entirely of hats? Nope. And pay $3,000 for it? Nope. What about throwing your cat an extravagant birthday party? That Maybe sounds, if I had a cat. That sounds